Today's teens, our generation, we're consistently called the future. But really, we're not. We're the present, the right now. The habits we're developing will stick with us for years to come. We all many ready make choices that impact our environment, and we make our own decisions about so many things. We need to start caring about how our actions impact our world, because our oceans and our environment can't wait for the future. Last year, I set out to encourage my peers and their efforts to be eco-friendly. There are some big national campaigns around encouraging recycling and green behavior, but I wanted to focus on the issues for my community. I started by setting up a blog, Why Me, Why Not, to try and promote some eco-friendly ideas like taking shorter showers and using reusable bags and water bottles. This helped put information out there, but it also exposed my personal behavior, and I realized I'd be challenging myself as well as my peers. I found after talking to people that they already knew about the problems. Many teens just didn't associate their actions with the issues. In their eyes, plastic in the ocean, the Great Pacific Dryer, and landfills weren't caused by their trash. They didn't recognize that their actions mattered. So rather than repeating information they already had, I simplified my approach and found a short but powerful question. Why not? Why not make a change? So many times, asking that simple question helped people figure out for themselves that they really didn't have a good reason not to change. One of my friends said she never remembered her reusable bottle, so she thought it wasn't worth it. But she figured out that if she remembered it just twice a week, she'd be saving over 100 plastic bottles in a year. Another friend tried to persuade her mom to buy recycled paper plates. She found out her mom thought they were made out of disgusting used tissues. Ridiculous, right? But, but she found the barrier that was stopping them from being more eco-friendly, and she could address it. Being lazy wasn't an answer people wanted to give when I asked them why not. So they started to be willing to walk a little way in order to recycle their bottle or can at lunchtime. Just think about it now. Why aren't you making a change? What's stopping you? We don't need plastic or paper bags when we shop. Why not refuse? When we bring water from home, we can use a refillable bottle. Why not reuse? We can make sure that at home, and when we're out, we use a recycling can. Why not recycle? My aim was to start a dialogue about something that matters to me. As teenagers, we talk about so many things. Our homework, shoes, hairstyles, and music choices. But all of it doesn't really matter. My challenge wasn't an attempt to be an activist. I don't make banners. I'm not an extremist. I like having takeout. I go to farmer's markets and to Target, and we're allowed to like all those things. Our generation needs to be having a dialogue about all this, because, I mean, really, what are we going to do without it? Today, many of us are sharing things that matter to us. So now it's your turn. What matters to you? What can you do about it? And why not do it?